<laughs> Welcome to art class. Uh, today we are going to be influenced by this pumpkin. It is the season for pumpkins and harvesting and so I thought it'd be kind of fun to use this as our project. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a blue piece of paper and you're going to write your name and your teacher code and you're going to flip it over and then we are going to draw a pumpkin on our picture. Now if you look at the shape of the pumpkin, it's kind of an oval. So we're going to draw kind of an oval on our paper. But if you look, there's also these ridges that are down the sides um, and we're going to be drawing those also. So we're going to start out with making kind of an oval-ish shape and we're going to draw just so carefully, kind of like an, an oval. And then we're going to draw some lines. And they're not straight lines. Now, if you look at them, they kind of curve. They start at the top and they curve and go to the middle. So I'm going to start here at the middle and I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve to the bottom. So it's going to curve down to the middle like so. And I'm going to do another one on the other side like so and have it kind of meet. And then do the same thing here. Maybe do a couple. We're just going to have a little pumpkin like that. And you can kind of see my lines. Once you get that done, then, you know, it's good to have a little stem. If you look at the stem, it kind of comes straight out of the middle here. And this one kind of has like a little jagged on the top. It's not very smooth. And it's going to come right back down. You know, you know, you could add some other things to it. Like maybe a vine. Like do a little curly line for a vine. And we're going to make our pumpkin look like it's in a pumpkin patch. So we have to draw something called the horizon line. The horizon line is a line that will go right behind our pumpkin and it'll break up the sky and our ground. So I'm gonna go straight across and go like this all the way. Once I get that done, then comes the fun part of adding glue. We're gonna be gluing our lines. So be ready for that. Hi, we're back. Guess what? Today we are going to be adding glue to our lines. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get a regular Elmer's glue. Make sure it has a really good nozzle. And you're not going to open it all the way. Just a little bit of a turn. All right? And you're going to trace your lines in glue. And you're just going to be really careful. Don't squeeze too hard because sometimes if you squeeze too hard, it won't flow very well. So, you're just going to follow your lines. And you're looking to have it a nice solid line. And it's okay to have it kind of a wiggly line too. That is all right, but you want to make it so that it is a nice solid line. You're going to go all the way around and you're going to do every line you draw. So there's my pumpkin lines. I'm going to draw this one right here. So there's my pumpkin lines. And if I need to kind of go over it because it may not be a little thick, might not be thick enough, that's okay. And then I'm going to go up here to my stem, and I have my vine, I'm going to do that one, do my line right there like that. And then I'm also going to do my horizon line. Now when we put this into the drying rack, we're going to have to be really super careful that we do not tilt it. Because if I tilt it up, it's going to end up dripping all over the place. So when you are carrying it, just slide your hands underneath very carefully and keep it flat. So that way you don't end up having your glue drip all over the place. And we're going to put that in the drying rack. All right. And then we'll, after it dries, we'll come back and do another thing right, with it. Last time we met, we glued our pumpkins. And so today we are actually going to be using some colors. And we're going to be using something called chalk pastels. And they are really cool. So today we're just going to be working on probably the orange pumpkin and we're going to do two colors on our pumpkin. We're going to make it look like the pumpkin is um, kind of curving in space. So we're going to actually use a light orange and a dark orange. So you're going to get two different colors of orange. And what you're going to do is the dark orange is going to be on the bottom and the light orange is going to be on top. So when you do this, you're just going to use your chalk and you're just going to kind of move it back and forth. This one kind of looks red, but we're going we're gonna to put it right back on top like that. We're going to do the, the bottom part of our pumpkin, just like that. 
And then, after we get done with the bottom part, you guessed it, we are going to be doing the light orange on the top of our pumpkin. So now, we're going to go over here to the top part of our pumpkin, and we're going to put the orange down on top of that part of the pumpkin. And if you look, you can't really color on top of where the glue is, and that's okay. That's all right. That's why we put the glue there, so we can see our lines better. Because sometimes when we're working with chalk, you can't always see your lines. So we're just going to put the orange down on top. Now notice, when I am going to work, we're going to actually blend. We're going to do something called blending. So once I get this all on here, we're going to take our fingertip, just one, and we're going to go from the top of our pumpkin down to the bottom of our pumpkin, just this section, just that section. So we're just going to kind of wiggle it back and forth, and we're going to kind of move it around. And if you notice, the chalk kind of blends a little bit. It kind of starts to to fill in any blue holes, and you can kind of see how the chalk kind of starts to be really solid. So can you see the difference where I blended and I put my finger on there and kind of smeared it really carefully and where I didn't. So now I'm going to do this next section. I start at the top and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and then I'm going to kind of go down to the bottom and then work my way across and just kind of go back and forth. Notice I'm going up and down the pumpkin. I'm not going like this and I don't get into the other ones. I'm just going with it like kind of like making a smile with my fingers. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm just wiggling it back and forth. And now we're just gonna kinda, of... and sometimes I like to move my paper around to make it a little easier to get to. So now I'm gonna do this section, just this section, and I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth. And you can kinda of see how it blends, it looks really nice. And then I'm gonna do this last pumpkin. This last section of pumpkin right here. And then, so now I've got my pumpkin all done and I'm ready to go to the next section. Now I'm going to do my stem. What color should my stem be? You can choose brown or green. And I kind of like green, so I'm gonna choose a green one. And I have a couple of choices. I have a light green and I have a dark green. So uh, light green and dark green. So I might use both of them depending on how I feel. So I'm going to put my dark green down. And then I also have a leaf right there. So maybe I want to color in my leaf too. Make that look really nice. And there's a leaf over here. So I'm going to put my leaf over there. And then maybe I want to put a little bit of green in there too. Maybe a little green on the top. Just like that. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of color. And then just rub it gently, really carefully. You can kind of see how it looks. And then, there's my pumpkin. Now, I have my background. Remember this horizon line right here we put in? That's where the sky and the ground meet. So if you look, this is going to be grass or the pumpkin patch. And this is going to be the sky. And what we're going to do is we're going to use green and... Um, so we're going to use the two different greens. We have the light green and the dark green. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with gr light green. And when we go underneath the pumpkin, we're going to go to the dark green. Because sometimes when you have um, a shadow, it's going to create a dark area. So we're going to have light green and then a dark area and then light green again. So start with this. And we're just going to go right up to the line. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of texture to it. Like making some lines and things like that. So there's one. I'm going to go right like that. And then I'm going to put some light green over on this side. So now I'm going to go over on this side and do some light green. And then I'm going to do some dark green. So I'm going to put it right underneath my pumpkin so it looks like a shadow. We're going to put some dark green underneath there like that and then remember that blending finger again 
We're gonna get some blending finger going on, but I don't wanna get it into my pumpkin. I don't want my green to get into my pumpkin. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna use my finger and just kind of blend it, but not go into my pumpkin. I'm gonna be really careful. So I'm just gonna just kind of gently rub it and make sure that it looks good, but I'm not gonna go where my pumpkin is. After I get that done, then I'm ready for the sky. And I'm gonna use different colors of purple. I got pur a, dark, a light purple and a dark purple. And we can even go in here and do a little bit of blue if we wanted to. But the paper is already blue, so you can decide not to if you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some light pink and purple here, and then it's gonna be dark purple up above. So I'm just gonna go right in here like that, and I'm really careful. And here's my purple. I'm going to fill that in. Make it look really good. Don't want to miss any spots. Sometimes I have to turn my paper in order to get in there where I want it to be. Now that I got it all filled in with chalk, now comes the fun part, taking my rubbing finger. And now I'm going to rub very gently. Now I'm not going to rub like crazy. I'm going to be really careful and go around where the sky is only. I don't want to get a purple leaf. That would be silly. So I want to make sure that I'm rubbing really careful and just getting where the purple needs to be. Now, as you are working, you might notice that you've created some dust or some chalk. Um, and if you've created some dirt, dust or chalk, don't blow it into the air. Because if you blow it into the air, you might end up getting it into somebody's eye and that would not be good. So you need to make sure that you're being really super careful. Um, and so don't blow it into the air. But if you do have a little bit of chalk dust, just kind of take your project and then shake it to the trash can so that you don't end up getting chalk all over. All right, and there it is. We are all done with our picture. We will see you next time.